OK, this is a really simple Blender tutorial to show you how to colour an object. I remember when I first started learning Blender and I kind of got a bit lost once I'd learned how to create an object. Um, I just couldn't work out how to create to make it uh, coloured. So uh, here we go. So here's the default opening screen here. I'm just going to zoom in quite a bit so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is the default cube. And what you do, you come over to this panel here on the right hand side. There's this little kind of circular button here that says material properties. Click on that. OK, and there's a lot of um, parameters here that we can change, but I'm just going to show you really quickly how to change the, the, the color of an object. And this is what we're looking for here. Base color. So you click on that. Now, there's a couple of ways you can change the color. You can you can make your selection here just uh, with your picker, if you like. So I'm going to go in there and click that one. And now you can see we've We've clicked, um, let's go for that one, purple. And as you can see, it's come up purple and you can change the, the brightness and the darkness here. Now, the reason why it's not showing up at the moment is because we're because of these kind of settings here. These are your view settings. So the first one is your wireframe. The second one is, um, this is your uh, solid mode. And the third one is your material preview mode. There we go. And that's when you can start to see the color. And then the fourth one, you can see the color again, and this is the kind of pre-render uh, preview. So it so it adds a bit of lighting to it, very subtle kind of lighting. But generally, if you want to view colors and things like that, click on that one, then you can see what you're doing. And there we go. And if I was to render that out now, it would appear purple. So just a little addition here. Oh, by the way, let's let's just change a couple of things. If you want to uh, kind of input a, a color. Um, kind of numerically so perhaps you've given been given some specific color that you need to color that object in with you can come in here and change it accordingly so there's your hex there's your hex there's your rgb and there's your hsv but generally i just i just work from here the color picker so there's one more thing that i want to show you really quickly you'll see there's there's a material here associated with this with this object here but what if i want to make one of these uh, faces of this cube a different color well what I do, I go and add another material. So I click on the plus here and I'm going to add another material. There we go. And I'm going to pick a different base color like so. Let's go for a nice green and and um, and there we go. So you can see we now we've got purple and green. Nothing's happened here, has it? OK, so what you do, you come in here, come into edit mode and then you want to uh, go into click a click a face. So this is your selection mode face. Then you can choose a face here. Let's choose this one for argument's sake. And now we click on a material. There we go. Nothing's happened yet. And what we've got to do is just click this assign button here. So it assigns that material to that face. There we go. OK, so let's just go into the pre-render preview. And that's how you do it. Obviously, you can get a bit more complicated and a bit more complex. There are different ways of coloring ob objects and creating colors and, and uh, and, and things like that and materials. But this is the simplest way to do it to begin with when you're learning. Thank you very much.